Are you undocumented and have ever wondered if we're able to travel inside the United States using our valid foreign passports? Well, the answer to that is yes. We are able to travel inside the United States with a valid foreign passport on domestic flights. Before I continue to share more information, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Gabriel and I am living in the state of California and I am unapologetically undocumented. I am not a DACA recipient as I was not eligible for DACA, so if you're a DACA recipient, this information can be useful to you but is not relevant. If you're undocumented and do not have a legal status, this information is relevant to you. Let's also talk about the risk that we run when being in an airport as an undocumented individual. It is to no surprise that immigration officers are always present in an airport, and the reason being is because an international airport is a port of entry into the country, and they are always paroling people inside the United States, and you might even see an immigration officer walking from one place to another on a domestic terminal. Now, what is the likelihood of you being questioned for your status by an immigration officer? Well, the likelihood is very, very low. However, it is no lie that it has happened to some people. Here's a little bit about the process of going through TSA. So here you guys can observe that I'm going to hand the TSA agent my boarding pass and my passport. She asked me to scan my boarding pass. I always give them together just to make sure that they scan it. And what they're going to do here is just going to make sure that my name on my passport matches my boarding pass. And then after that, she gives it back to you and she says, have a good day. Your encounter with a TSA agent is always going to be 10 to 15 seconds, but no longer. After they verify your identity, you're going to wait in line to make sure that you run your luggage through the x-ray to ensure that you are not taking anything on the plane that you're not allowed to. You guys can check to see what you guys can take on the plane with you guys at the TSA website and find more information. After this point, you're going to walk to your gate and then you're just going to wait for your flight to start boarding. And then after you board, then it's time for takeoff. Here are my friends. They are from Arizona and I am from California and we are headed back home after a four day trip in Chicago. Well, here we are about to land in San Francisco International Airport and some information that I would like to share with you guys is the following. For those of you guys who have a California driver's license, which is the AB60 offered to undocumented individuals, did you know that that is also a valid form of identification to fly in replacement of your foreign passport? Maybe you're concerned because of the Real ID taking an effect in 2023. Well, good news. The Real ID just got extended until 2025. So therefore, we will be able to continue to use our driver's license to fly Nonetheless, I always suggest that you fly with both forms of identification or you travel with both forms of identification, better said, so that in the event that you lose one on your trip, you have a backup to ensure that you will be able to board your flight. And if you guys have any more questions that I possibly did not cover in this video, then make sure to leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' questions. I hope that this information that I have provided you guys use to your advantage and that I have covered many of your guys' questions or concerns. And like I said, if you guys have any more questions, don't forget to leave them in the